live from Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, it's the Joe Cortez Show. Hi, this is Joe Cortez with the uh, show here, the Joe Cortez Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the entertainment capital of the world. And all I can tell you is I'm back on the scene with the record machine. Hey, 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 hey. And how do you do? <laughs> We're here to give you guys nothing but a oh, good man, show Joe. today. Hopefully, we can stay online now. We had some technical difficulties, right. but it's all because our dear friend Rick had some uh, health issues, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Right, we did. And we're back here again to tell you guys that uh, we're going to bring you a lot of entertainment today in reference to not singing, at least I don't think so, <laughs> but at least a little bit of uh, Terry Buzzy Johnson with his uh, famous group, the Flamingos. Right. And of course, we have his beautiful wife, Teresa, along with us. She has some, part, some role with the flamingos in the past, and I think she's still doing some things with them now. So we're gonna to talk to Terry okay. uh, about your career with the flamingos. How did it all start? Well, I had my group, uh, The Whispers, in Baltimore, Maryland. I knew the flamingos, uh, they had started in 1953. I knew two of the members, Jake and Zeke Carrot, here from Baltimore, really. And uh, when they came to the Royal Theater, I was, you know, I went to see the fate, the Five Keys first. I, I love the Five Keys. Mm -hmm. And they were on this uh, show at the Royal Theater in Baltimore. And I went backstage. I told them this experience that I had when I was sitting in the audience. I was sitting there watching them like this. And all of a sudden, I saw myself on stage with them, Joe. I saw me up there with them, playing my guitar. <laughs> I went backstage, like, you laughed, just like the way they laughed when I told them that story. And they said, that's deep. So Nate Nelson asked me if I knew uh, a first tenor and someone who played an instrument, like a bass or something. I said, well, I play guitar. I sing tenor and baritone all the way through. So he asked me if I, if I would come the next day to audition. I said, I'd love to, man. I brought my guitar and my amplifier and I had the music in front of me that they gave me, ran through it, piece of cake. And they said, wow, man. And I played my record, The Whispers, uh, Are You Sorry? He said, whoa, I like that. So uh, Jake said, I tell you what, man, just hang tough. I really like you. You know, we got a few other people that we may have to go through, but I like what you're doing. So that a few more months went by, and I said, oh, well, what the hell with it? So I was doing my other work, and uh, playing with them. I had a band called Terry Johnson and the Rhythm Kings, and I got this phone call on Christmas Eve. Jake wow. Carey said, Buzz, say, man, we have the opening for you right now. Say, if you want to become a member of the Flamingos, come to Philadelphia right away. The next day was Christmas Day. We went to Philadelphia, and from there we went to New York and got with the guys, and that's how it started. Wow, that was a beautiful Christmas gift. Yes, it was. Ooh, wow, it sure was. was. And what year was that again? That was 1956. 1956, wow. Yeah. That must have been about... Oh, uh, cut it out, Joe. Don't start it. Don't start it. I was young, man. I was young. <laughs> but anyway, how did the name, how did the name of Buzzy come about? Oh, man, my sister would call me uh, Buzzy because I was so busy. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, my sister was always called me Buzzy because I was busy, man. They called me Buzzy the Bee. And I was into <laughs> everything, so uh, that's how it stuck. Now, so. you, you guys come up with a lot of romantic songs. Why you were known for so many romantic songs? Well, was it was that you guys were all in love or what? No, it was just, you know, that was the style of those days, you know, like, you either do the love songs or you do the sad songs, so we prefer positiveness, you know, so wow. stay with the love themes, you know. You, you guys were de definitely a, 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 so many uh, groups out there, yeah. I mean, with the, with the music, and uh, I mean, we know that you're also a songwriter. That's right, and producer. And producer. Yeah, I did that with Smokey Robinson at Motown. We do most of the, uh, some of the famous songs that you wrote for some of the groups or for your own group? Well, for my group, uh, Love Has Never Said Goodbye was the first one. It was like, a, it was like, it sounded similar to Are You Sorry, which is the song that they loved when I first met them. And I uh, did Mio Amore, You, Me, and the Sea, At the Prom. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but quite a few songs I did with the flim, fl for the Flamingos. Okay, now you, you also uh, appear with the opening for the uh, for Duke Ellington and, oh, uh, man, and Lionel fantastic. Hampton, right? Oh, man, that was such a wonderful gig, yeah. Beautiful people, man. Yeah, Lionel yeah. Hampton. Oh, Lionel was great, man. Yeah. And do, how about Duke Ellington? I mean, he, I mean he's a, 
a really a true legend, oh, man. Hall of I'm Famer. You, he was just fantastic. Their bands were big. They had that old sound, man. Do you miss that kind of old sound yes, music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I we really need some do. of that today. Eh? I wish we could. Have you thought about time maybe put a back go back and put a band like the Duke Ellington and I Lionel? wonder how it could be done. You know, because like I would remember Count Basie, man. We would go see him in New York, uh -huh. and uh, those big bands, and he got all those guys on that stage. Big sound, you know. Uh, I miss it. I wish it was a way. Right. Well, I feel it. Maybe you start here that you in in Las Vegas, the entertainment right. capital of the world. Maybe there's a place. Where he can start auditioning somebody's wanna be, nice. uh, go back to the old era, I the golden that. era. I would love that. And start a big band here Ooh. in Las Vegas. Wow, that'll be big. Yeah, man. I tell you, that would be a place. Yeah, man. Right. I love it. Oh, my God, with Terry, Buzzy, Johnson, and the Flamingos. I mean, it was something that uh, I, think, I think it's doable. I really think it is. I mean, the guy still got a spark of the old flash. That man's very much alive, good looking. Smart and loves his music. He sure wants to do. get it. He wants to bring it back. I think we can do it here in Las I Vegas. I do, man. I do. Yeah, we got to get a couple. We'll of look for folks. that. That we was a good scene. We got to get a couple of folks out there. We're here to. We got to thank the, the management team to give us the opportunity to film it today. It was the last minute. Yeah. But we at the boathouse at the Palace Station Hotel, a Vietnamese restaurant, beautiful place, brand yeah. new. You guys got to come out here. This is one of my favorite hangouts to uh, have a nice lunch or dinner. I spent. We had a New Year's party here. I tell you, uh, uh, Terry. You are amazing, you know? Oh, thank you, Now, sir. we have your beautiful wife, Terry, uh, Teresa. Can you tell us a little bit about calling TNT? The TNT, I mean, that, that's dangerous. <laughs> that's you explosive. got TNT. Hey, very explosive. Yeah. Now, Terry, T Teresa, tell us a little bit about your, your, your part with the Flamingos. Okay, well, Terry and I started out um, as great writing partners. Okay. Right. Writing and producing partners. We've got a... a big catalog of original material right um but the flamingos were also known for big variety of material when they did their stage show mm -hmm. so um when i was uh, more on the front line i was covering a lot of the girl uh entertainers like tina turner or janice aretha. joplin or aretha, aretha, franklin, aretha franklin the supremes oh. that that type of music because we do a big variety uh, of music even in the flamingo show now we do some of the great flamingo hits, but then we also do a big variety of music right. to right. please all styles, all tastes. Of so you must have a big production on what you do well, now. Everything we do, everything right. we do, everything we do, is a big production. Mm -hmm. We made sure of that we're, it's a Vegas style show, Vegas really. Style. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the kind of show we want to see here in Las Vegas. Right. Oh, man, one, one, one of the hotels out there, you guys are watching. Yes. You guys are missing the boat. Yes. These two are the real pros that you That's want to right. have here. Hey, one of your theaters for sure. Oh. Now, you, now you asked a question to her that she didn't answer yet. Oh. She's our manager. <laughs> She's our right. musical director. Right. We, her and I, we do all the music and we, we, mm -hmm. we track it out really beautiful. Right. Big sounds, violin, strings, sounds completely real. When we get on stage with the show, you hear everything that we produce. Right. And I'm She's singing great. one of the background notes as well yeah. to cover that as well. So you're, you're the one cracking that whip for these I'm guys. I'm cracking yeah. the whip. Uh, making I'm sure, cracking making the whip sure, all the time. Making sure everything is <laughs> fine-tuned the way it's supposed right. to be. Right. Right. But you're right. right, Joe. It's like we um, we would love to be a part of the Vegas legacy. Oh, yeah. When you think about the great performers, the, yeah. the Rat Pack, the, um, the Treneers, the Sam Butera, oh, you know, the, the, the days when people would go into, into the rooms yeah. and truly be entertained right, right. with all styles of music. That, that's that's our do. forte. That's okay, well, well, tell me about your experience that you've had with uh, Voice to Men with your production. Which, oh, that, right. was a great, that was a great move. Uh, I don't know uh, when, when the song is going to be released, but I recorded, uh, Teresa and I produced, I Only Have Eyes for You. Well, the CD was released. The CD it was, was the released. documentary. They they did a oh, documentary, documentary in hand right, right. with the CD. So the CD came out, but the documentary is still yet to come. So they're okay. supposed it's to come their, out together. It's how the older music influenced yeah, so them. So you had a song, uh, I Only Have I Feel? Right. right. Is that song was dedicated to your beautiful wife? Nah. <laughs> it better nah, be, right? Yeah, <laughs> how long have you guys been together? Uh, 43. Be, 43. 44. 44 in June. 44 years. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Now, She's now, a great now, partner, man. now, you also, know, your, your songs have been in movies, a lot of movies. Oh, what, 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 what movies have your songs been in? Bronx Tale. The uh, Bronx Tale. I mean, uh, one of my something's favorites. Gotta something's Charles, gotta give. Charles Papa and Terry, the Bronx Tale. Yeah. Something's yeah. gotta give. Right. Something's gotta give. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Um, Annabelle. 
Annabelle. About the little doll type thing. And it thing. was uh, on, on the, uh, the Queen on Netflix. On the Queen. Mm -hmm. Breaking oh, In right. uh, Breaking was the latest is, movie with Gabrielle Union. Mom. The um, whole song goes through twice. Another one with Steve, uh, uh, starring Steve Carell. Was yeah, another that, movie. We have quite a few. Mm -hmm. that still, I mean, the song will not die. Hey, well, no, no. Just like the song, uh, Let Me In, We You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me in. Knock, knock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. man. That, that, you guys, that, that was on the, it was uh, for, for four weeks, number one on the, uh, on the charts, not, right? Not, and, 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 oh, and not, not let me in. And the mm -hmm. indie indie charts. Right. It was an indie label? Yeah. Uh-huh. Euro, yeah, well, well. Euro indie. The Euro mm -hmm. indie, yeah. Now, now, let me ask you a question. If you had to do everything all over again, okay in your career, what would you have done different? Hmm, if that's, anything. A, that's a strong question. That's a strong question. I, if, if I would could have done it again, I would have been more involved with the business aspect instead of just the music. Because the business is where everything is at. Is you that know right? What I mean? Yeah. That's wow. the one thing I wish I could have done again. Uh, now, now, let me tell you, now, you were inducted, the group was inducted into the Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll, Hall, Roll of Hall of Fame, right. What year was that? 2001. 2001. I would have put you 2001, 2002, 2003. I would have right up to today. You guys are the greatest out there. Thank you. It was beautiful with that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We were there with Solomon Burke, um, the great, the one and only. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Wow. Steely Dan, Steely Dan. Queen. They had a lot of great inductees. Yeah. Paul Simon. Paul Simon, yeah. A lot of great inductees that you, year. So you were rubbing... Yeah, man. Oh, that was rubbing, a great rubbing, year. Rubbing elbows with the best. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's oh, right. Man, it got to be a, a great feeling, I mean. But you guys really deserve it. Be, you guys are known worldwide. Yeah. And I think the, the young the young generation out there should be looking to the Flamingos. Right. The Flamingos have, I don't know, how many albums, how many songs you guys oh, recorded? Man. I think we had four albums. Four albums. Four albums, albums. Mm -hmm. four albums of, 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 and I arranged each and every song and the harmonies. Let the lead singer do what he had to do. You had the group. They were what, five of you guys? No, six. Six? Yeah. Yes. Five, six, six. Man, you, you were missing yeah. one. It should have been seven. Joe Cortez? Uh, Joe <laughs> Cortez. I know you're going to say that. Yeah, Joe Cortez. I only Joe. have eyes sing sing it, Joe. for sing it. you, dear. <laughs> you are here, and so am I. Chum up, chum up. Maybe millions of people go by, but <laughs> I only have eyes for <laughs> you. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, I'll tell you, it's so much fun, uh, you know, talking to you because this brings back a lot of great memories. Yes, it does. I never Joe. dreamt in my wildest dreams that I'd be sitting next to Terry. Buzzy, Same here, Charlie, though. From the flamingos. This guy's great. This guy is great. Yes. I'm telling you, such a wonderful person, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, just. <laughs> I mean, just the moment that we met, man, I hugged him, he gave me a hug. We're like old no, friends. we're fans. Yeah, we're, we and watched we're fans. you all the time. Yeah. That's right. On I've TV. Yes, we did. Many years. Yeah. Firm but fair. Firm but fair. I'm That's fair, you. but I'm firm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I tell you, uh, you know, Larry Chance. Yeah, yes. yeah, yes, Larry my boy. Chance is also a big fan of boxing, and we uh -huh. still yeah. with each other. And uh, he's got a guy, I haven't met him in prison yet. However, mm -hmm. he, dedic oh, he dedicated a couple of songs to me uh, on stage. And I, yeah. and, uh, uh, Jackie Nunes has a oh, videotape, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. and she said, uh, Joe, Larry J. going to dedicate a song to you live on the stage today, sure, you know, and I was so yes. honored, and I got to, yeah. got to talk to him on the phone. Right. I mean, he was he's one of my favorites dude. as well. Right. Yeah, he's a beautiful And we dude. want to thank Jackie Nunes and yeah. Mike thank Miller you, for uh, just oh, connecting all of us together. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That, that was such yeah, a Yeah, I mean, now that I met you guys, I'm, I'm not going to let you off the hook that yeah. easy. Oh, good. <laughs> now, 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 <laughs> now that we're neighbors here, yeah. and uh, here in Nevada, yes. you guys, there are in, in Pahrump, which is about, I don't know, 60, oh, 70 miles yeah. from the strip here in Las mm -hmm. Vegas. Right. But it's only a, a skip and a hop. Yeah, 50-minute so drive, drive to the strip. 50 yeah. minutes. 50? 50 yeah. minutes to, to the, the strip. strip. Yeah. Yeah. Can't beat it. Yeah, and here we're only like two minutes from the strip. Right, yeah, yeah, the, right. Here at the yeah, Palace yeah. Station, we're on uh, right off nice. uh, 95 and, and Sahara Avenue, which is uh, a, a great place to be. We're here at the Boat House Hotel, Doe House restaurant at the Palace Station Hotel, and it's just so, so great to be at his uh, Ian and his uh, N Nicole. She they gave us the opportunity to use the, the, the location here at the restaurant today. The food here is out of this world, good Vietnamese restaurant. I can tell you that uh, uh, if you're here in Las Vegas, you got to come by the Palace Station Hotel, yeah, it's nice up to the Boat House uh, nice. restaurant. It is just amazing. It just opened up about eight months ago, and this place is just 
it's just the best. You got to come out to the boathouse. That's yeah. why we're eating today. Yeah, yeah that's right, exactly. <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to keep that some food after the show. Right. right. And uh, another thing I want to say, uh, sure. Now you're 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 an inspiration to so many young folks out there in the music world. What good advice can you give to young rising stars that want to get to the level that you guys got to, or you or you're just even halfway well, there? For the first thing, I'd like to say, finish school. Finish your education because it's so important to know what you're doing. If you have your, if you have a voice, keep practicing. Keep and keep a positive mm-hmm. mindset. You mm-hmm. can do anything you want to do, but be right. smart, right? So that you don't get burned because it's a fast, right. it's a fast be- life out here. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. it's called show business, show but it's business. really the business, business then of the show. show. <laughs> exactly, you know, it's business then the show. No, no it's very true. Like he's saying, like Terry's saying, you know. Uh, you young folks out there listening, you want to be a uh, singer or whatever you want to be in life, you got to try to walk the straight line because if you deviate right. from that straight line, chances are you're going to go downhill from there on. That's and, a drag. And, and it's tough to get a, I mean, something like you have second chances in life. Right. I believe you give you second chances, but uh, you have to try to not to to, to, to go down that, 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 that route because if you do, it's going to be much, much more difficult to get back on your feet. It really is. I man. mean, I see a lot of folks that have gone down, hit rock bottom, there's only one place you can go is back up, and they've made it's it. It's hard. Back. It's hard to get back. It's up, hard man. to get back up, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, with your experience, you know, in the entertainment field, a lot of singers and entertainers from all over, all walks of life, some of them have gone the wrong way with the drugs and the alcohol. Oh, that's what I'm talking and, about. And before right. you know it, they're, they're in their forties and early fifties, right. they're already kicking the bucket. You say, "What the hell happened there?" I think about mm-hmm. my dear friend David Ruffin of the Temptations. That voice this man had, man, we would just, if we would be recording him, man, he would be singing, I'd be looking at him like, damn, listen to that voice. What he could do with his voice, and like 50 years old, he's dead. Oh, you know, it, the it, cocaine it, stuff, man. Yeah, it killed Why you. everybody get into it? I don't, it's so easy, I guess. You're in show business, and all the drug dealers know you got money, so they're gonna hang around you, so be smart. And don't. Say no. Mm-hmm. It's, it's See, I don't want to try it not even once. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you hear so much, you try it once, you like it, and if you're stuck, then you're hooked. That's and, right. and those drug dealers, that's what they do. They, they know who to go after. Right. They, they know you got the money. So you, right. once you're hooked, you know, they, right. they got you. Right. David, David gave his car a brand new Lincoln he gave to the dude just to do what he had to do with his drug things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God bless all of them. I tell you, it's, it's a shame because you got so many fighters in, in the boxing world. Even the boxers, right? I, I see yeah. myself, and you know, it, it, they, they just make hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. They end up broke. They yeah, end up, some of them end up doing drugs, shame. and mm-hmm. they end up dying young, or they're walking on their heels. Right. You know, punk right. drunk syndrome. That's why. I mean, right. these fighters, they, they just don't know how to handle it. Yeah. So they get all these people, all these, like you said, drug dealers. They know who to hang out with. Right. Before they got the girls, and these girls kind of walk you into it. Before right. you know it, you're finished. You yeah. get, you, then you have no money at the end. So but, listen but, to that advice that yeah. we're talking about right now, all you kids, mm-hmm. because yeah. it's easy to get hooked. Mm-hmm. Stay Learn how to handle your no. finances. Right. And handle exactly. that money right. Exactly. You know how, how to do it. Now, uh, uh, Teresa. Yes. Now you've been in the business for how many years now? 44, 45 years. Well, when you met uh, Terry, you got he got you right into the game. Right. That's it. And right? You loved it, huh? Loved it. The I, I had that, done. Uh, some things previously, but not on on the same level. Okay. So I learned so much. And that's uh, something. So that's something is what. Huh? What were you doing before? Oh, I had done some uh, uh, opera, some community opera, okay. yeah. some folk, di- and, and some rock, different things like that. Wow. But um, but uh, the the entertainment world that he introduced me to was the real pro world. The 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 the. the, the things that Sammy Davis would do on yeah. stage or Dean Martin, right. the professionals, Frank Sinatra, the, the real pros, right. how they handled themselves on stage, how they called their shows, how they how they produced their right. shows, how they performed their shows. Right. That's just another whole world altogether. That's how we yeah. and, and I yeah. think that's what the kids are um, not getting exposed to uh, nowadays, and it would be great for them to be to, to see that type of performance. Exactly. No, I mean and we do that, and we do that. That's what we do. Yeah, and that's what these young folks out there need. They need some guidance, some direction. Right, man. And you people with your experience, your background, mm. I think we could do something. We should be doing something, especially yeah. here in the entertainment capital that's world. That's right. And then you guys out there need any big time agents, not small time, the big time agents. These sort of guys, hotels. 
you need a good show, these are the people to call. Check us out. They can put it up, put it together for you. Check us out. Now, you, have you been traveling with your group at all? Oh, a lot. Lately? So, a lot. Yeah. This past year, what were some of the places you went to this past year? In your, in your performing tourist. arts centers. Uh, in, in, uh, mainly Theaters, in Florida. In Florida. In Florida. Theater, yeah. mm -hmm. you, have you been out of the country lately? Oh, we haven't been out of the country, lately. but we've been all over we've the country. To, California, yeah. Florida, we to Japan. Uh, Pennsylvania, yeah. uh, we, the New York, Connecticut. We're, we're all, all over, over the map. Place, right. We travel a we lot. Travel. Yeah, we we got to get you guys here in Las Vegas. I think That'd I, be nice. I, yes. I, 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 I Let them see a real show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had the uh, the Duprees here last week. Yeah, right. I love my boys. Yeah, they were there at the... Uh, South right. Point South Hotel. Point. Right. Yeah. We've yeah. worked with them. We've, we've, we've done shows with them. Many with them. Yeah. We were Great perfect combo. together. Yeah. Right. Because we have the same style of presentation, but right. totally different material. Totally different material. Yeah. 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 I, I like to see a show out here. We get the, uh, the old groups and you get them all together at one mm. big, ven nice. one big venue nice. and have it here yeah. in Las yeah. Vegas. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll definitely be a sellout crop for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so many uh, folks from off the East Coast that come out to Vegas. This place. Wouldn't that be nice? We have like... Two and a half a million uh, residents here. Right. Like when, when I moved in here in '92, there was about six hundred thousand. Right. Now, wow, they're, now that's they're like growing. two and a half million. Yeah. It's growing. It's still growing. And I, people that are coming from the East Coast come out here to Vegas. They want to see shows yeah, like the right, Flamingos right, and the Breeze right. and the Temptations. Yeah, man, yeah. Right. Oh, man, so Otis, good. Otis was here at um, what was the place? Oh like? gosh. Oh, he was just here. It's it's in November, his birthday. <laughs> yeah. we, we were there. Yeah. And Smokey Robinson, one of your buddies. And Smokey was right. here, right? Yeah, he, yeah. he mm -hmm. performs here quite often. And Diana Ross. Right. Diana, Diana Ross, he was here. Recorded all these people. Ago. I recorded all these people. Yeah. He recorded with all of them. That's right. That's right. Unbelievable, man. I tell you, you're you're like a you're definitely a legend. Hey. Terry the legend. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I call him the musical chameleon. Yeah. The musical all kind of music. He just all loves things. today's music. He matter loves fact, the older fact, music. He just month, changes with the times. Next month we're uh, recording uh, in Reba McIntyre's studio in, uh, in, in Nashville. In Nashville. Mm -hmm. Beautiful song we wrote called until then right this song will make you just get goosey yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. man i'm telling you it's going to be dynamic i'll let you I'll, I'll give you a copy when we get it done that'd be great i'm looking forward to it now you left the flamingos a while back and then you came back again uh how did that happen what do you mean left we, them? We, we, we you left the flamingos i said you left the flamingos came back oh, it when was you when you Motown. made your own version of the flamingos right oh so in other words nate nelson when i left the flamingos i believe it was 62 uh, 1962, and I went to Philadelphia and formed another group called Terry Johnson and the Modern Flamingos because oh. I gave the Flamingos my sound that I had from the Whispers from Baltimore. So I went to Philadelphia and put another group together, did the same kind of dancing, same splits, same smoothness, same harmonies. And uh, Nate Nelson, who was originally the singer of Only Have Eyes for You, he uh, called me and said, Buzzy. I, I hear you got something really happening. He said, I'm leaving the group. So he left the Flamingos also. And he said, man, uh, what about you and me joining up? I said, Nate, my arms are wide open. There's a position with you right, for you right here with me. So he came to Philadelphia and uh, we called up. We, he, when, he, when he got there, I mean, I, we were really powerful. So when Nate got there, it was like really dynamite. And uh, so, we, we didn't, so we recorded, we met Joe Rock who was the manager and writer for the, um, the Skyliners, Skyliners mm -hmm. out of Pittsburgh. And he asked us to do a song. So he said, can you guys write a song? He said, I've got the B-side for you. So Nate and I got together that night and we wrote the song called Let's Be Lovers. Hmm. I mean, it was like a combination of I Only Have Eyes For You and Lovers Never Say Goodbye in one song. Jocko, Mary the K, everybody said, hey, this is the Flamingos right here. This is the sound. And uh, it was so good that uh, the people, George Goldner and some of the big guys that couldn't afford to have us take the Flamingos' place had it crushed, wow. you know, but it was such a dynamite song. Man, you got to play uh, all over New York. I remember back in, uh, the, yeah. in the Brooklyn, uh, you had uh, Brooklyn Paramount. Brooklyn Paramount. Yeah. I remember yeah. going in there and I, I believe we saw you there one time. I was yeah, like, wow, yeah, man, yeah. you got to, I mean, it was, uh, was a, Alan Free, that, that was the... That's uh, right, Alan Free. Alan Free. bringing them all in. Yeah, bringing them in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jackie Wilson. Jackie Wilson, yeah. Chuck, 
Chuck Berry. Man, Chuck Berry. Talk wow. about him, all the best, man. And you got you got to hang out with these guys. Yeah, have man. Dinner with these guys. I love Frankie Avalon. He Frank was Gallagher. he was man. This dude kept me laughing. Yeah, he, he's still performing. Yeah, yeah, he is too. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Him and uh, it's another. Uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, Bobby Rydell. Bobby Rydell. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Bobby Rydell. Fabian right. was with him at a right, time. Right, right. Yeah, I yeah. got to meet Bobby Rydell and Frank Nice Gallagher. boy, isn't he beautiful? They, they, they did a little boxing skit uh, on stage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And then we got Joe Cortez. Yeah, they, I, they did a good, good skit there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was, oh. I was surprised. I know they're singing, but I don't know they were comedians. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Are you, you saying their boxing was comical? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was comical. Yeah, it was, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Yeah. I think, I think they, they probably, I, I hope they keep using it. It was really a good skit. A good skit, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay, so uh, what, what is it, what's on the horizon for you guys now? Well, we're here. I mean, I, like, I think. I have used these last three months to really polish everything we do. So every place we go now, it's like the songs that I lay on them, man, it's like standing ovations almost for every song. Oh, yeah. By the time we get to the end, the whole place is standing mm-hmm. and saying more. We, you know, they want an right. encore. Sure. Uh, we have two powerful lead singers. Two powerful uh, lead singers with, with, with me. Terry. And, 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 and what, what is it? Are you a lead singer? Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you've always been a lead singer? I sang with all the duets that we did with the Flamingos, and then I did some of my uh, own solos, like um, When I Fall in Love, Beside You. Well, give, give, give me, how did I go on? Give me a little a little 30 second thing of that. Of what? Yeah, what when, I fall when I fall, I fall in love. Maybe I can learn something. When I fall in love, it will be forever. Or I'll never fall in love In a restless world like this is Love has ended before it's begun And too many moonlight kisses Seems to cool in the warmth of the sun when I give my heart, heart, it will be completely, or I'll never ever fall in love. I give my heart, right? And the moment that I feel that you, you feel, feel that, that way too is when I fall in love with you. Too. Hey guys, you know what? All right. Uh, Luca, she's falling in love all over again. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is wonderful. This is wonderful. I really appreciate yeah, this. Well, Joe. It's, it's great. You know, a lot of fun being out here with you. A yeah. legend like Ooh. Terry Buzzy uh, Johnson from the yeah. Flamingos and uh, his beautiful wife, Teresa, who was just, uh, I mean, it's such an honor, you know, to, again, uh, we have the Flamingos, Terry Buzzy Johnson and his wife, Teresa, he manages. She cracked that whip on them every so often to keep them in line, <laughs> keep them where they, where they were back in, in the early 60s to today. Yeah, she does it gently, though. She does <laughs> yeah. it gently. Yeah, yes. you guys, you guys really, you see, yeah, you got some whip legends on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start know? anything. I want, I, want everybody, I want everybody to notice what he's wearing. That <laughs> yes. black and, and pink. Flamingo and that, pink. And that white. Hey, man, you man, know, this, class, this, this, is, this is a respect to the flamingos. When yeah, I got up this class. morning, I mean, I'm going to put a flamingo hat on me, a costume. I said, I look kind of silly doing yeah, that. Yeah, right. You I, think, I think the tie and the he handkerchief would be just enough. Yeah. <laughs> what an honor and a pleasure to have Terry Buzzy Johnson from the Flamingos on the show today. It was a knockout as far as I'm concerned. We'll see you guys next week.